Why are OLED TVs still so expensive as we go into 2023, yet it's a decade-old technology? If you are shopping for a TV, one thing that comes at top of that list is the picture quality and clarity. That is when you get bombarded with industry terms such as HER, LCD, LED, QLED, and OLED. Now, the OLED TVs have something that has stood out in the screen display industry. They have kept their market value longer than others in similar sizes and categories. After being around for more than eight years, OLED TVs are currently the most expensive consumer displays on the market. So why are they so expensive? Well, generally, OLED TVs are primarily costly because they use a new panel technology. The companies that invested in the technology will have to make their money back before the panels can be made affordable. The higher refresh rates, more vibrant images, and better viewing angles offered by OLEDs also push their prices higher. In this video, we look at OLED TVs and why they're so expensive even after new display technology keeps coming out. Keep watching to find out if there's a cheaper alternative to OLEDs and if the OLED display is still worth it. Now before we dive deep into the price tags, first, let's look at the OLED display TV technology. You'll probably come across the term OLED when you're shopping for a new phone, laptop, monitor, or even TV. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. While that phrase might not make sense on its own, it simply represents the panel used on those devices. Therefore, it's the OLED panel that makes OLED TVs stand out from other TVs in the market. These include LED, Light Emitting Diode, QLED, Quantum Dot, and LCD, Liquid Crystal Display. The OLED technology was invented in 1987 by scientists Ching Tang and Stephen Van Slyke while working at Eastman Kodak. However, its mass production and usage in making TV sets began later in 2004 when Sony released the first OLED TV. Although OLED technology had been used in different devices in the 2000s, it was first seen on commercial TVs around 2010 when LG took over the technology after Sony and Panasonic backed down due to high production costs. It has gone on to become quite popular but hasn't managed to snatch the crown from LED due to the high price tag. Interestingly, although OLED TVs are clearer and have better viewing angles, they also have a shorter lifespan than most other TVs. So how much do OLED TVs cost on average? Well, OLED TVs are pretty expensive. Of course, the prices vary for different brands and sizes, but you can expect to pay at least $1,000 for any TV with an OLED panel. In fact, the majority of OLED TVs between 55 and 65 inches cost above $1,500. So what about the OLED display on its own? How much did they cost? Well, in 2021, the DSCC estimated a 65-inch OLED panel cost about $520. However, these costs are expected to reduce to $420 by 2025 for reasons we will discuss later on here. And how much does it cost to make an OLED TV? On average, a 65-inch OLED TV costs about $800 to produce. However, these costs vary between brands, with LG having the upper hand because they're the sole producer of OLED panels. So why are OLED TVs expensive? With so many alternative technologies in 2022, why are OLEDs still so expensive? Here are five main reasons that contribute to the high OLED display prices. Number one, new technology. OLED TVs have been commercially available for about eight years now. Although that would be a long time in many industries, it's still the pilot phase in the display market. While there are many variables in the production of OLEDs, if you eliminate them, you remain with the age-old process of supply and demand. As such, you can compare the price progression with that of LCD panels and expect to see a similar trend. The process involves limiting supply in the early stages, creating high demand, and hiking the prices. This helps the companies offset production costs and all the money they spend on R&D for the new technology. The second phase involves bulk production and flooding the market with the new panels. This eventually lowers their prices. As it stands, OLEDs are still in the first phase, so the manufacturers are trying to break even. Number two, better viewing angles. While LCD panels were a revolutionary technology two decades ago, they had one major flaw, angle distortion. LEDs came and tried to solve the problem, but no panel mainstream display can beat the viewing angles of an OLED. The image on an OLED display is clear from whatever angle you look at it. 
This makes the panels ideal for consumer TVs, which are often watched by many people simultaneously, sitting at different angles. Number three, vibrant images. OLED displays are the most vibrant panels in the market. If you watch an LCD or LED TV and then shift to an OLED, you'll immediately notice the difference. The panels produce deep blacks and high contrast levels. They can achieve this by completely turning off the black pixels and lighting the white pixels. Although LEDs use a similar technique, they often suffer from a blooming effect where the bright pixels bleed into the darker areas. OLEDs don't experience this problem because, unlike LCD or LEDs, they are not backlit. Instead, each diode emits its own light. This also reduces the problem of hotspots, that is, areas on the screen that are brighter because they are closer to the light source. Number four, high refresh rates. OLED technology offers higher refresh rates than other commercially available panel technologies. This makes the panels great for gaming monitors and TVs. They are an especially popular pairing with the new generation of consoles, PS5 and Xbox Series S or X. Higher refresh rates make the image seem more seamless and give snappier responses in gaming or computing tasks. Extensive marketing. Most display companies go all out to market their OLED TVs. LG being the only company that produces OLED panels before they're fixed into other devices, bets its entire reputation on the technology's success. The company along with Sony and Panasonic has worked hard to convince the world that OLED is a superior technology and should be priced as such. Therefore, most people believe the high prices are somewhat justified. So will OLED TV prices drop in future? Well, if the estimates from the DSCC are anything to go by, OLED TV prices are expected to drop by 2025. Companies like LG and Sony are investing billions into the technology and will soon find a way to make it affordable. But as it stands, expect to continue paying higher prices for OLED displays. But considering their picture quality, I wouldn't mind spending the extra dollar, especially for the TVs. So if you are still undecided on which OLED TV to buy, here are my three top picks for 2022 to 2023 TV shoppers. LG C1 Series. Being the pioneer in OLED technology, LG has mastered the art of making great OLED TVs. The C1 Series is actually the best-selling OLED TV on Amazon. Apart from all the benefits of an OLED panel, it comes with a Gen 4 processor that specializes in deep learning to give you optimized images for any use case. Sony XBR48 in 9S series. This is one of Bravia's first OLED TVs. Although it's almost two years old at this point, it holds up pretty well. It's especially great for gaming, as it was optimized to work with the PS5. Vizio OLED TV. Despite not being a household name, Vizio has been making some remarkable TVs at affordable prices. Their OLED lineup is excellent for anyone who wants to enjoy this futuristic technology on a budget. Is OLED TV worth the price? Well, generally, most OLED TVs are definitely worth the huge price tag, especially if they'll be used for computing or gaming. Besides vibrant images and higher refresh rates, OLED panels are also more energy efficient and offer better viewing angles. So don't beat yourself up for spending those thousand bucks on these gadgets you will clearly see their worth by experiencing their viewing qualities every day. Now maybe you aren't convinced and you're asking yourself, is there anything else out there better than OLED? While many thought Samsung's QLED would snatch the crown from OLED, Mini LED is proving to be the better technology. Mini LED panels mimic OLED properties at a fraction of the price. They are not only cheaper to buy, but also more energy efficient than OLEDs. Side-to-side -side comparisons by different TV reviewers also show that mini LED panels are brighter. That could be something you may want to look into as an alternative to OLEDs. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments if you're a fan of OLEDs and if they were worth your money. We would also like to know if you have tried better alternatives. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more exciting videos about expensive stuff. Also, check out my previous video on why Louis Vuitton products are so expensive.